Columbus city leaders say they are acting fast to create gun regulations in the city limits. Their three proposed pieces of legislation mostly target assault style rifles. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jared Small. And I'm Jennifer Bullock. Supporters are hopeful, but gun rights advocates feel frustrated. NBC4's Anna Hoffman has more details about this proposal. Anna? Jennifer and Jared, Columbus City leaders say they're only able to do this since a Franklin County judge placed a temporary ban on House Bill 228. This bans local governments from creating individualized gun laws. But as Columbus City Attorney told me today, this action has already been appealed and gun rights advocates are ready to fight. An important window of opportunity. Columbus City leaders are moving quickly to try to pass three pieces of legislation aimed at stopping gun violence. The time for talk is over. The time for study is over. It is time to act. Not to strip people of their guns, but to put reasonable limits on the type of gun you may own, how you can purchase that weapon, how much ammunition you can use. The proposal focuses on three things. First, defining what is considered a large capacity magazine and prohibiting anyone who is not law enforcement or military to own one. Second, they want to promote safe storage of firearms and penalize anyone who fails to do so when incidents occur. And they want to address the role gun salespeople play and enforce consequences for selling guns to anyone legally not allowed to have them. At Wednesday's news conference, the leaders highlighted why they are doing this using examples of how gun violence is impacting the city of Columbus. Just before we performed an emergency procedure to evacuate the blood that was in his chest, he turned around and he looked right at me, clear minded, just as any of us here in this room. And he said, please don't let me die. I have to get home to my son. But this announcement has gun right advocates up in arms. Dean Ryak, the executive director of Buckeye Firearms, released a statement shortly after the conference reading in part. Our reading of this ruling is that it is narrowly focused on the issue of municipal zoning for firearm manufacturers. It is not a green light for Columbus or other cities to pass gun control laws. The Ohio Supreme Court has ruled in the matter of preemption and agreed that cities cannot pass their own own gun laws. City leaders say so far this year, Columbus police have confiscated almost 3,000 guns off the streets. Around 200 of those were assault rifles. To see a more detailed analysis of the three proposals, head to our website, NBC4i.com. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.